Hey, David here with DIY Mountain Bike. Today, we're gonna talk about raising the handlebars on a mountain bike. So, a while back, I did a video on raising the handlebars on a mongoose mountain bike. And I'll put that link thing above, but um, that was using a different style of stem. So, let's get into after my little crash scene coming up, let's get into talking about raising the handlebars on a mountain bike and the different ways you can do it. There's three different ways. Let's do my clip. All right. You wanna guess what happened? <laughs> so there are two different styles of stems. Okay, and the stem is basically this portion right here of the steering assembly. A lot of people will call it the headset, so this is the whole assembly area. But this is the stem, two different styles. There's something called a quill stem. And you may have seen those, there's a, a bolt on the top, you loosen it up and you can tap on it. It breaks this wedge feature loose to loosen the handlebars you can raise it up there's a safety mark right raise it up tighten it down you've got the handlebars higher a little bit lower end mountain bike um more recently in higher end mountain bikes in order to get a bigger diameter of what's called the steering tube or the steer tube so that's part of the fork it comes up it's a the tube that comes up that the stem clamps onto, stem. Um, so in that type of assembly, you'll put a separate piece at the stem, and a part of this change that we're doing to this bike is to reduce the stem length, shorten it, and then raise the handlebars. So that's the two different styles of stems. There is the threadless assembly, which has a steer or tube coming up with a, let me get this guy out so you can see what the stem looks like in this type of assembly. It's a shorter one. This would be called the stem, right? So attaches onto the steer or tube or steering tube handlebars go here. So part of raising the handlebars, we're gonna put a new steerer tube on and then a higher rise, higher rise handlebar. You can see this rise. You can buy handlebars in different rise heights, okay? So let's do some close-ups here in a second. I'll talk a little bit more about the, call it the anatomy of a mountain bike, um, but let's get some close-ups. So there's a couple, three different ways you can raise the handlebars on a mountain bike. Um, the first way, the recommended way, if you're going to do some aggressive, I shouldn't say aggressive, some more strenuous mountain bike and you actually go out on the trail, I would do what I'm recommending here, which is get another handlebar, get another stem, um, and either get a stem with a rise in the stem, There's, you can get these with a rise, or a handlebar with a rise. So you can see, I'm trying to line that up, about how much that's going to rise the handlebars, kind of improve that comfort level in this type of scenario. There's another method, and uh, I'll snap a picture of it. If you're not going to ride real aggressively, let's say comfort riding, there's something called a steerer tube extension or a steering tube extension actually adds a section onto the steerer tube, raises that assembly up, gives you the same effect. The, the concern with that method is um, adding a whole nother set of joints to the steering assembly, it, it, a strength type of assembly. So that's the second method. 
The other way, and let me grab the camera, is to find, a little bit tougher, but it is nice in that it's variable. Now, this is my wife's e-bike. Um, you can get these that have an adjustable stem, right? Clamps on to that steerer tube, clamps on, and then you can loosen the bolt, loosen the bolt, and actually change, and actually change the angle, change the angle, and get a different height, okay? So that's the three methods. Just a quick recap. Number one, handlebars, raise your handlebars. Number two is add an extension onto the steerer tube. Number three, is add a stem that has a variable angle, okay? I'll link to all of these in um, the description, so check that out. Um, Amazon sells all this stuff, so uh, easy to get this stuff really quick. So let's get into swapping out the handlebars on my sister's mountain bike. I'll do some you know, time lapse real quick on this so you don't have to watch me complain and bust my knuckles up, okay? So what tools do you need to change out that steering or the handlebars? Um, I got my, you know, I have a link to this. I love the bike hand toolkit. Great starter kit. You get most everything you need to get into doing some simple repairs for your mountain bike. So I'll have a link to that. Um, set of hex or Allen wrenches. Sometimes you'll need a screwdriver. Um, just whether you're changing out reflectors and some other things on your handlebars. These two, if you have a carbon fiber handlebar you're putting on, um, get a torque wrench. You can over torque the handlebars, causes a stress crack in a, you know, the handlebars if you have carbon fiber. So I'll post, uh, you know, or I'll type on here um, what the recommended torque, a good starting point for the recommended torque. You know, on that as well, with your stem, you really want to check if it's carbon fiber that you don't have any sharp edges sharp edges inside here that could indent the carbon fiber. So I want to pause here for a second um, and talk about steering tube spacers. So when you're putting on a new stem, the thing that holds this whole assembly together are the bolts on the stem itself, right here and here. But to pull it together, to pull it together, you squeeze with the cap, the steering tube cap squeezes this whole assembly together, squeezes it together. To do that, you have to have a little bit of a gap above the steerer tube, and you also have to have spacers. So you should be looking at about a three millimeter to six millimeter gap to 
top of here to the top of here. So as you're putting the new stem on, it's got to be just slightly above the the um, stem itself in order to get the right fit. If it isn't, you need to add spacers in order to fix that fit. So this one, we're lucky enough, looks like it's going together well, right? So let's start putting this guy on. We'll jump into some faster videos here, okay?
So let's try the fit of this out. Um, oh yeah, definitely different. So upgraded handlebars, got these little palm extensions, a little bit wider to kind of help distribute the weight, higher position. Now this bike doesn't fit me, but um, I can definitely feel that I'm up higher, right? Chin up higher, kind of allows you as well to be able to breathe a little bit easier. If you're crouched over and you think about it, your, your abdomen and is, you know, your breathing, deep breathing comes through the bottom of your diaphragm. Um, yeah, I like this, at least for cruising. Definitely different position. I'll try to do some before and after pictures so you can get a sense of how much different my position is.